I'm considering moving my Q&A session to Friday, three days from now, so it's on Valentine's Day, and that'd be kind of my Valentine's Day gift to you. It would make more sense if there would be a theme to it, it's not just me just wanting to answer some questions, but, you know, I like doing those Q&As. I already gave you a template as to what a good Q&A question session would be like. It'd be like the one you gave Grog in 2012. And that's a closed video, but I'm sure some of you have that link. What would make for a terrible Q&A session would be if you give me some of these questions. And here are the examples. Number one. The questions that are heavily based on Mises.org or Model New Doctrines. Any of these guys, even let's say a Noam Chomsky, you ask me thoughts on, let's say, a circle logic argument that, let's say, Molyneux made, where any argument for the state is contradictory and self-imploding. Newman put it best, if Stefan Molyneux is wrong, that is a self-detonating question. Ask me what I think about stuff like this, what I think about 3D printers, what I think about Rothbard's universal ethics system, and I'm not going to answer those questions, and they wouldn't do very well for me or for you. Because I'm not going to give an interesting answer. Uh, second is I really don't want heavily theological questions. I like some that are simple in a way. I don't know how to describe that. But if you ask me something like, which person from the Trinity spoke to Moses through the burning bush? I'm not going to be able to answer that in a way that you'll like. Or what do I think about Calvinism and the elect system? I'm not going to give an interesting answer for that. If you ask me what I think about in terms of... Hmm. Yeah, just stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's already good. Stuff like that. Don't ask me... Anything like that. Um, because I know some of it. I understand it. Yet, I'm not going to answer it and make it interesting. Sec third off, no race and IQ, race realist heavy based questions. Don't ask me about allele frequencies. Don't ask me about, hmm, IQ differences between West Africans and North Africans, or things of that nature. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to read it. I don't want to answer it, and you're not going to like my answer because it's not going to be very interesting. See that, like, heavily scripture-based or model-based stuff that I have to look deeply on, and the results aren't going to, even if I research it, it's not going to be that interesting of an answer because... It's not something I really care too deeply on. Fourth, hmm, will be a good fourth. I already got the 
doctrine-based libertarian stuff, the doctrine-based religious stuff, and the race realist stuff down. Would be a good fourth. Now, I think you guys get the picture. So, these would be examples of questions you don't ask. If you're going to ask perverted questions, do so sparingly, and I'll answer them sparingly, because it's good to have a few of them here and there, but whatever. Okay, maybe some... Maybe you can, like, apply stuff like this to anything else that you might want to ask. Like, maybe you'll ask me a question based on body language and game. You're going to ask me, uh, which is the perfect position to have your shoulders? At what point am I overly extending my shoulder to seem cocky and kind of dorky, like, or shrugging too much? Or, where should my hands be when I'm standing to elude confidence? Where sh how should my legs be? Uh, I really can't. I probably could help you, actually. But, when the body language stuff gets too specific, do what your body wants. And if your body is so neurotic and unhealthy that it turns a girl off that much, then you might want to work on your body language a little bit because it's going to affect other parts of your health, under other facets. But don't get too aspy with me with that stuff. Or if you're going to ask me some, like, political question and you know, reactionary base, don't ask me what would I think about a meritocracy versus an aristocracy or a representational democracy versus a can republic democracy or just like hmm oligarchy versus plutocracy you get what I'm saying when it gets to that level of specificity that it becomes short-sighted and any attempt for me to actually research and develop an opinion becomes unsatisfactory then that's when you kind of stop so this is Mr. Walker 7 and come up with those questions I'm not going to be as dicky as I am in this video Come on, guys. I'm going to stay hydrated for you guys. Suck my dick. Yay.